one of the effects of global climate change will be that a lot of sweet water will actually enter the oceans, both at Greenland and at the South Pole. And one of the big questions in climate science today is what will actually happen to these currents once this sweet water enters the ocean, because it will uh, disrupt the balance of salinity, the balance of temperature, and as a result these currents will change. They will become stronger in one part, weaker in other parts, and this will actually have a regional effect on the sea level. We know that climate is going to change over the next 50 years, and what we want to know is how sea level changes. And the East Alger project is really targeted to determine those regional sea level changes. The East Alger project is now one year ongoing, uh, we are able to perform computations with an ocean model which has a spatial resolution of 10 kilometers. And we can compute about 50 years ahead within a reasonable computational time. Uh, what we want to do is to go to one kilometer resolution in the ocean, so that's still a factor of 10. And this is why we need, say, all these techniques of distributed computing to reach this. But the added value of enhanced science for the ESALSA project is that it allows us to run higher resolution ocean models and the higher resolution the model has, the better the results. To run higher resolution models, we need bigger supercomputers, which we don't have at the moment. And therefore, we apply techniques like distributed computing or GPU computing to increase the performance in such a way that we can run these higher resolution models and therefore get better results. Findings of these uh, simulations are used uh, in, by many policymakers. An example uh, of a simulation is shown uh, behind me. Here, is, this is an extreme scenario where fresh water melting from the Greenland ice sheet is uh, dumped into the Atlantic. And here you see the uh, fresh water anomaly in the North Atlantic and the change in the ocean circulation uh, you see in the sea level, where you see the picture here, the red means a high sea level and the blue means a low sea level. And if you look at the anomaly, which is induced by changes in the ocean circulation, you see the picture here, where red again is a higher sea level, blue is a lower sea level. And what you see is that uh, because we now simulate this at a very high resolution, you see also the regional patchiness in this sea level change. The ESALSA project is unique uh, because we use very high resolution simulations. And to do that, uh, you need the not only one supercomputer, but you need a set of supercomputers to perform those computations. And what we'll do in the eSalsa project is to develop the tools of what we call distributed computing to use all those supercomputers to make these computations. And in that aspect, we're unique in the world. The practical impact of the eSalsa project is that we can better predict what will happen to sea level when uh, Greenland melts faster than it does today. And of course, this information is very important uh, for coastal protection. Uh, it allows us to better predict how much coastal protection we need to be safe in the future.